let's put this in a contextual window. The first world champion from the United States was in 1969. Rick Sanders and Fred Fazard won titles, world titles in 1969. Wayne Wells won in 1970. And then Gable and Wells were the first to win world and Olympic. But no one had won multiple world titles until you. You won in 1978 and then 1979. Was that history that wrestling embraced at the time? Did we celebrate that you were the first multiple-time world champion? Uh, that's a tough question because I don't want it to sound like, like I wasn't recognized for it because I certainly was, you know, but it, but, but I, I personally thought it would be a bigger, uh, I just thought it would be something that would be. Would have been talked about more, or you know, by the media. I thought it would have been a big, a bigger deal. I guess is what I was trying to say. I, I thought it was. I thought it would be like doing. It was something that, that had never really been done before. So I thought it was, and that was part of my motivation for doing it. Uh, and it was in precursor to the Olympics the very next year. So uh, the coaches embraced it. Like Dan really appreciated it. Uh, there was a. You can see what Dan and I kind of embraced after that match. Dan knew what it, what it meant. He said some words to me that he appreciated what it meant, and Stan does it. But the media didn't really, they didn't really say, it just wasn't as, it just didn't seem to be like as big as I thought it, it probably w would have been maybe. But again, I, I did get recognition for it, obviously. I mean, people talked about it. Uh, Amateur Rest News, I was on the cover of that, and it was, uh, but the funny thing about that, I'll just throw this out there. When I won my third world title, which which then eclipsed it even more, I assumed because I was on the cover of Amateur Rest News when I when I won two, I thought when I won the third one, but the, it wasn't. It would they had a picture of the Fargo Nationals on the front, and they just had the headline kind of kind of as a sub headline that I would leak him was his third world title, and I'm like, what? I mean, that's that's like that's like no one's ever done that before. I thought that should have been bigger news and I opened the magazine to see it. They, they, they must they must embrace and embellish that in the in the in the magazine. It wasn't really talked about that much. It was just the results. So um, I certainly wasn't driven by by like recognition. You know, that wasn't like fame. That wasn't what was driving me. I just wanted to be the best I I could be and uh, I just I just thought that, uh, like, I, I talked to John Smith once, and he, he told me that what drove him a little bit was to win four world titles, because I had won three. That's what athletes do with each other. We, we were, we're driven to, to, to do, to, just to break a record kind of a thing. So, uh, and uh, so the champions get it, and I was always, uh, I always, Felt honored that people like John Smith and people like Gable recognized my my accomplishments, and that's all that mattered to me really was that my my peers that I respected respected uh, me, and uh, the fame isn't really that big a deal really, you know. Like in my opinion, I, I think John Smith isn't talked about as much as he should. In my opinion, you know, I think I mean the guy won six world titles. And they put Sergey Belgozov in this this ultra category of greatness, which he should be. John Smith should be, and he is, in our country. I mean, you know, we talk about Gable still, and we should. Gable is definitely the <clears throat> the, the legend that kind of started most of it. But hands down, John Smith is the guy that should be. You know, when they have Mount Rushmore, he he should be the only guy on it. You know, uh, until someone breaks that. That's how. That's how records are meant to be broken. Um, that's just my opinion. I, I just, you know, I don't know. I just think he, he should be, uh, he should be recognized more. Maybe I don't know. Just because a, a lot of our younger wrestlers don't even know who he is, just because of, I don't know. We, we don't. Our younger wrestlers don't study it, or maybe, maybe they don't think about it in that way. But. Um, I, I still do. I remember when John was winning his fourth, fifth, and sixth title. It was, it was amazing to me, really. And then you had Jordan Burroughs coming 
And you know what Jordan's goal was? We all know it because he made it public. He wanted to break John Smith's record. That's what champions do. They they need a big goal out there to go after. And um, I you know I did it when I was younger in my career. And you know you expect to see guys like Spencer Lee do it. Expect to see you know Kyle Dake do it. Expect to see Jaden Cox. You know. We, we might lose some of these wrestlers to mixed martial arts, but you know, because of the ability to make money, but, but, uh, but, uh, so it's a roundabout way to answer your question. I, I think, I think we need to honor our wrestling heroes more that may keep more people in wrestling to go after titles. I think Ben Askren should have went after some titles. There was nothing keeping him in wrestling. So he left right away. I think if ever been, we always think it should be money, but maybe some recognition, some different kinds of recognition, to show someone that have, that has excelled to that level of the sport. Maybe they get honored in, in a certain way that to get to give them something other than money, because clearly it's not enough to keep people in wrestling after a while. They have to, they leave because they they, they go. They go into mixed martial arts because of the money and the fame. I mean, when you go into, like, when you become good in mixed martial arts, you become a household name, really, just because of the exposure you get. And, uh, you know, guys like Henry Cejudo, Henry said it very clearly, even in my documentary, you know. He said, you know, you can win the world 20 times, but if you you don't win the Olympics, no one's going to hear of you. You've got to be at the Olympic level to at least get some recognition, you know. And then beyond that, Henry's recognition being a UFC champion far eclipses his recognition he gained as a, as a wrestler. Just because, you know, when you're on pay-per-view with millions and millions of people seeing you multiple times and you're winning, you, you just become a great, plus you're making millions of dollars. You become a professional athlete, you know, so 